Anderson, it's ugly out here. The situation has deteriorated fast. We understand that these demonstrators showed up at about 3 o'clock this afternoon, and it's just within the last 30 minutes that things have really taken a turn for the worse. You see behind me our cameraman, William Walker, if you could pan in there. They've just set a car on fire. Prior to that, they were breaking windows of an Atlanta police cruiser. You have armored vehicles, SWAT team from the Atlanta Police Department, as well as plainclothes officers. These demonstrators came here ready to confront the police. They began throwing objects at CNN Center, breaking windows. Uh, if you could pan over uh, to see what they've left behind as that police presence pushed those demonstrators past CNN Center, this is what they left behind. Graffiti, uh, some profanic, profanity, uh, I'm sorry about that showing that lie, but it's just what this is what's really happened out here, Anderson. Uh, they've graffitied those CNN red letters, uh, broken windows out. This is where they were, and as you can see happening live in front of us, uh, if you want to pan back down there, William, another demonstrator is being taken into custody. Anderson, we've witnessed at least six people. Uh, this is uh, the seventh person that we've seen with our own eyes taken into custody. These objects were, were thrown uh, with aggression at the police. We did see at one point tear gas, what we believed was tear gas, uh, fired at the demonstrators as they've been pushed back towards the main intersection. If you're familiar with downtown Atlanta, uh, it, that is right at the main intersection of Centennial and Ted Turner. And I want to pan to the left here, uh, William, if you can, because we're seeing dozens of heavy, heavily armed uh, in tactical gear. Atlanta police, it seems as though from the state police, rather, Anderson, coming in, uh, flanked by uh, tactical uh, others with tactical gear. I I'm sorry I'm a little breathless. This is uh, really something to see here, Anderson. You're familiar with Atlanta. You spent a lot of time down here. Um, this is nothing that I've ever seen happen. You know, even prior to coming down here, you know, there was hope as an Atlanta resident. This is, this is a, a place that has really missed out on a lot of the violence throughout the years, especially in 2015 with that rash of police shootings against African-American men. There were demonstrations here, but nothing that turned violent, certainly nothing like this. Uh, hey, I'm sorry, officer, can you just, uh, yeah, thank you so much. I know you guys are doing your job so, keeping us Nick, safe. Uh, Anderson, for our viewers out there, we Nicole. are from a vantage point. We're uh, behind the Atlanta police line. Go ahead, Anderson. Yeah, Nick, if you can just give a sense, it's, it's always hard uh, to, to tell sort of how many people are involved in this, how large this is. Do you have any sense of, obviously with the crowd, it's hard to tell uh, of crowd size because we can see yeah. uh, some people obviously in the background and obviously we see those police, uh, you know, armored vehicles uh, and, uh, and in uh, tactical gear as well. Um, do you have a sense of the, the scope of this? Yeah, we, 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 we hate to estimate on numbers, you know. We, we hate to do that without talking to the police, but just from, you know, an educated guess, Anderson, there's, there's uh, over a thousand, perhaps even more than that. Um, you know, some people are wearing masks. You know, we have, we have the coronavirus happening right now. You know, the pandemic that hasn't gone away, you know, I, and you really don't know if those that have showed up are, are wearing masks because they're afraid of the virus or because they want to conceal their identity uh, to, while they're confronting law enforcement. Uh, we, we have seen a lot of patience uh, on the side of law enforcement so far here in Atlanta. They were trying to reason with the demonstrators. And again, as I mentioned, it's within the last 30 minutes that those uh, individuals began throwing rocks at CNN Center, breaking those windows. And that's when uh, police made the decision to decide to advance. Uh, that wasn't welcomed, obviously, and do you by know those that came here to demonstrate. Uh, go ahead. And Nick, the, the vehicle that's on fire, it looks like it's a police vehicle. Uh, was that, uh, obviously, I, I assume, what, somebody threw an incendiary device? Or, you know, a Molotov yeah, cocktail, we, we didn't know something what, like well, that? Yeah, we saw, was, we saw, yeah, we, we saw black, uh, black smoke starting to come up, you know, it, right before we came on air with you. It just started right before this live shot. Uh, we don't know what they, what they did to set that on fire, but, you know, right before that, Anderson, they were breaking out the windows of a police cruiser. All those cars had been parked there as a way, I assume, to act as a barricade to, to flank the demonstrators that were outside of uh, CNN Center. Um, we don't know what caused that, that, that uh, police vehicle to go up in flames, but it's on fire now. And of course, I'm sure there's concerns about it exploding. We're, 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 we're far away enough from here, uh, but it's still, uh, you know, this is, this, is, this is terrible to witness. It's terrible to witness, Anderson. Mm. And, and Nick, how long has this been going on for? Because I mean, I, I saw the crowds outside the CNN Center, I think it was uh, an hour, at least an hour ago. How, how long has, has this been going on? 
They've been out here warming up for at least five hours. You know, they got out here from, from according to our national desk, at about 3 p.m. this afternoon. Um, and, and that crowd only grew in size as the evening, you know, progressed. Uh, you know, you, you see now they're all basically in front of a corner of Centennial Olympic Park there, uh, you know, the site of the 1996 Atlanta ceremonies. You see now, um, Anderson, uh, you know, live pictures here. We're going to come back down here as William pans down. A fire truck has shown up here to hope to extinguish those flames. Uh, you know, you see <laughs> empty water bottles, uh, projectiles that have been fired littering across the streets of downtown Atlanta. Another fire truck has just shown up here. It, it, it's hard it, it to looks say as this, if, but it, things are, have seemed to calm down a little bit. Uh, another object just got thrown, Anderson. They're still throwing objects. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I mean, it looks as if sort of there is right now, I don't know if it's a standoff or just a stand down. It's, it's the police and it's demonstrated. It doesn't look like there's interaction between uh, the, the protesters and, and the police at this point. It seems like people are kind of watching the, the car burning and obviously more police are moving in. That, that, that's right. That's a very astute observation. You know, it doesn't seem to be any confrontation right now at this point in this second. Uh, you know, but, you know, you've been in situations like this around the world. You know, things can change very, very quickly. Uh, so we're going to be keeping an eye on it right now. But, you know, it, it is quite a sight to see here uh, in downtown Atlanta. Even the police officers here seem nervous. Anderson. Yeah. Uh, Nick, I want to stay with you, you and, and with your, your oh, image. Uh, we're also Anderson, joined on the phone. Something just by, exploded. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Yeah, the, uh, something just exploded. That car is going up really fast. Yeah. Um, obviously, it's a, a hazard for everybody in that area. Um, uh, hopefully, the fire truck can uh, can at least get to uh, get to it to uh, put out those flames.